So it's become a pattern. It's obviously a pattern. And nobody's nobody's really doing anything about it. We have a terror attack. Everybody expresses their shock and their outrage and their anger and their sorrows and their sympathies and their surprise. And then it repeats. We're into a pattern here. It's almost like this is the new norm. This is just something that we're going to have to put up with from now on because it doesn't seem like there's any effort to stop it. And whenever anybody attempts to mount a serious effort to stop it, they're slapped down. They're slapped down by judges or they're slapped down by uh, politically correct anal retentives all over the world. Uh, you remember John Kerry, the haughty John Kerry, who once served in Vietnam, once said when he was Secretary of State, he was telling everybody in America, you know, just, just chill. Just chill. Terrorism is a nuisance. It's not a big deal. Yes, it's mass murder, but it's not happening every day. It's just a nuisance. We're just going to have to learn to put up with it. And that was the attitude about We can't even agree that it's radical Islamic extremists that are doing this. Anyway, I want to get into this in a little bit more detail, but I had to make that observation because I, frankly, folks, uh, I don't like this pattern. The pattern is simply, you know what this pattern is? The pattern is a terror event happens. In this case, 22 people dead and some children. And all of the serious and compassionate people run to the nearest camera and they run to the nearest microphone and they express their sorrow and their compassion and their shock. And that's it. Mission accomplished. Look at me. I care. Look at me. I have compassion. I care. Look at me. I'm a good person. I recognize that this is not good, but that's as far as I'm going to go. And then it happens again. The same people come out and also in the process of this pattern repeating itself, we have lies and misstatements told about who's responsible for it. And every, every part of the pattern is let's not be hasty. Let's not prejudge. What do you mean prejudge? We know who the terrorist is here. His name is Salman Salman Muhammad Salman Skyhook. I guess that's why it took 24 hours to figure out who he is. ISIS claiming credit. What do you mean prejudge? No, we're not supposed to prejudge, and we are not supposed to uh, have a backlash. Must guard against the backlash. Must make sure that we try to find common ground. We, there isn't any common ground with these people. So it's, to me, very frustrating. It is a pattern that repeats, and the people that react to it are doing so for image and branding, running the cameras and microphones to be seen as knowledgeable, aware, caring, and concerned, and compassionate. And then we drop it and get back to trying to impeach Trump. In fact, CNN had trouble letting go of the impeach Trump story last night. Do you know this? CNN was fighting with itself over even covering the terror attack because it would take away from the ongoing effort to destroy Trump.